This is verse 4 of the fourth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, Satan has just uh, put it to Jesus that he should turn the stones into bread to alleviate his hunger. This, of course, is the uh, first of the temptations as reported by Matthew. Now we have Jesus' response, uh, beginning with the definite article ho, which idiomatically uh, can stand for the personal pronoun in the third person. So he is the way we'll remember he, post-positive de. So, but he, apokrithes, from apokrinomai, I answer. This is the uh, air is passive in form, active in meaning participle, masculine singular nominative referring to Jesus. Uh, literally would be having answered, but idiomatically they'll uh, typically render it uh, answered and said is the idea. So it's uh, common in the New Testament to have this combination. So he, having answered, apen, said from Lego, I say, third person singular, aorist, active indicative, he said, then gegraptai, this is the third person singular, perfect, passive indicative, it stands written would be a good way to render it. Stands written continues to uh, have uh, effect in the present moment. That's the force of the perfect tense, so it stands written. And then Jesus quoting now from uh, Deuteronomy, uk, the negation not, ep, epi is the preposition here, takes the dative. So it's going to be not upon arto, bread, the dative singular masculine of artos, mono, the adjective alone or only. So not upon bread only, zesatai from zeo uh, means I live, this is the future. So third person singular, future active indicative, he will live. Not by bread alone he will live, and then ho anthropos, the man. So the man does not live uh, on bread alone, all, strong conjunction, elided before a vowel. But epi, same preposition, epi, then again the dative, ponti. Upon this is the uh, singular of the adjective pos pasa pon. Uh, this is in the neuter here, so it's the uh, neuter uh, singular dative. So upon every rhemati, the neuter noun rhema word, on every word ek peru minno ek peruomai is the verb to proceed out or to go out is the idea. This is the uh, participle. Is a present uh, middle and form participle, um, and it, uh, of course, is referring to the uh, word. So every word, the going out would be the idea, every word proceeding out. Dia, uh, with the gen uh, genitive here, means through. Going out through, stomatas, mouth, uh, theu, of God. So Jesus' answer to the first temptation is that uh, as much as he might in his human situation, have wanted to turn stones into bread. Uh, he nevertheless is not going to succumb to the uh, temptation of Satan here, uh, reminding Satan on the authority of Scripture that uh, the true sustenance of the human being is going to come uh, from the Word of God and that that is where Jesus will place his reliance.